Let's access Google Earth imagery and load that into QGIS to make a geo-referenced PDF for Avenza Maps. In the description of this video, you will find a link matching this one. Select, copy, and notice this space. The space is necessary so this link doesn't get shortened. Back in QGIS, scroll down in the browser window to XYZ Tiles, right-click, New Connection. Give it a name, any name will do, sat image. Click here and paste the link you just copied, and remember that space. Go ahead and delete that, and hit OK. Now go ahead and click on your new link there, and that will bring in the satellite imagery. You will notice this is a Mercator style projection. We can see this is EPSG3857. If you click on that, it will open up the dialog box for project properties. I have options here loaded in that I've used before, so I can just click on that, see that this is the UTM zone that applies to my location. Hit apply and there it is. Okay. If you don't have that, you can search NAD83 space slash space UTM zone, and you'll see a variety of UTM zones. Find the one that works for your location. And now hit OK. And this is giving me a warning because this is absolutely not the scale at which this is designed to be used. So let's go ahead and zoom in on Maine. There's Maine, much better. Let's go ahead and zoom in on Katahdin, our highest mountain. And let's go ahead and make a map to cover the area of a hike. Project new print layout. Name, Katahdin. OK. Now we need to add a map. So here, add map. It'll snap to the top left corner. Click, hold, drag, and release when you get to the bottom right corner. And now you've used up the full page of the map as you would like to do for an Avenza map. Now this is a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet. And this, you can crank the resolution up on this as much as you want. You can make it a thousand dots per inch, but it will not load in at a higher resolution than it will if it was at 300. The way that Avenza will process this map, you need to have a bigger page size. You get that by right click, Page Properties. And you can select a different size from this drop down here. Let's go ahead and use ANSI D, fairly large. If we zoom out, you can see how much larger versus an 8.5 by 11. You can go ahead and click, hold, drag, release that box all the way to the corner. If you want to move the map around, you can use this tool here. Click, hold, drag, the contents move. You do want to make sure you get the positioning settled before you start adding any text labels. To zoom in, click on Map 1 and change the scale here, a smaller scale or a smaller number, Try 12,000 there, zooms you in. So if I change this from 12,000 to 10,000, I will again zoom in. This means that one inch on the map, when printed at its intended size, equals 10,000 inches on the ground. I'll show you how to export the map first, and then we'll go over adding points, lines, polygons, and labels. Under Layout, Export as PDF, close this warning, and go ahead and pick the location to save. Save. Check Create Geospatial PDF. OK. Save. This is the finished product at about 40%. And let's go ahead to 100%. And that is the resolution you would be seeing on your phone as you walk around with Avenza Maps. Next, let's do some labels, points, lines, and polygons. I'm going to maximize this window here and then use this zoom to full extent to show my workspace as best as possible. So we have some predefined shapes here. We have markers here, arrows, node items, which would be lines or polygons. And then we have text here. Let's place a marker first. So that's that star tool. Click once to select it and then click once on the map wherever you want the point to be. And you see how that's selected there. I can click off somewhere and that'll show me what it actually looks like. And then I can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and see a little bit better still. So that's a little bit off. If I want to move it, the easiest way to select it is to select there. So up here in my items window there. Now if I click hold in the middle, I can move that around. 
while we're zoomed in, I can go ahead and add some text here. So add label, and I can click, hold, drag, release where I want the text box to be. Lorem Ipsum is a standard placeholder for text. I can type in my own, Baxter Peak. And I can change the font color, I can change the size, I can change any number of things about this, including some background if I want that. And I can even make that background somewhat transparent if I so choose. I can change the size of that background like so. I can go ahead and say I don't actually want a background, but maybe a frame would be nice. If I don't want a frame, I can uncheck that. Let's just make this text the same color as the point associated with it. And we can use a standard red there. Move that around so it's just underneath it. And then click anywhere else. But then maybe I don't like that, that's in the way of the trail, so I can click on Baxter Peak there, go ahead and move that up above. Move that down a little bit until I like it. And this node item allows you to draw either lines or polygons. Click once, add polyline. Click once to start, once to add a vertex or a turn. Each click makes a new vertex and the line connects between those two dots. Click, 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 click until you're done. Click once more and then right click to finish. If we want to change this line, click here on the line under Map Properties. Go to Simple Line and that gives you some options. So we can make the width thicker. We can make the color a standard red. We can make it a little thinner and dashed. And when we're done, go back to Simple Settings and back to Map 1 and then zoom back out to the full page. Polygons are done in the same way. Add polygon. One click to start. Click to add each vertex. And then when you're done, right click. And we can zoom in and see. Roughly done, but OK. And then our symbol can be changed here. All done. Layout. Export as PDF, just like before. Close through that warning. Katahdin 2. Save. Save. Here's our new map with points, lines, polygons, and labels. And viewed at 100%, this is what it will look like when it's on your phone. With a little dot representing your GPS location, hiking up this trail across the knife's edge and to Baxter Peak to take that photo that every manor has got to have.